The Malmount area contains high-yielding cocoa crops and farmers are concerned that the fungus may spread to other farms. Farmer Leroy Blisdell fears that the cost of ridding the trees of the fungus will be more than farmers expected. In terms of the cost and the labor, it, to me it's costing more than what you're getting from cocoa, cocoa to fix it. One of the directors of the Grenada Cocoa Association, Samuel Joseph, gave an idea as to the extent of the damage done and suggested that farmers start planting other cocoa varieties that are lesser yielding but still less susceptible to the fungus. The trees are actually bearing, which is boom, and that is causing a severe reduction in the yields and also is having an impact on the farmer's income. The solution here, sir, in my opinion, is you should have a gradual cut back of the type of varieties here because the varieties here basically 29 and 36 while they are very high bearers uh, the flavor of the beans are very good but you need to cut back and phase them out with some other varieties right but just um, trying to control it I don't think you'll get a complete control Thaddeus Peters of the Pest Management Unit says the fungus has the potential to wipe out 75% of the crops in a worst-case situation. He is advising farmers to use the period of the oncoming wet season to start pruning and burning infected parts. In addition to burning the affected broom, you can leave it on the floor of the, as the leaf litter falls, it will cover it. But this is more when you have a lower level. Now, this higher level here, you you may have to have to burn, but um, burning will have to be selected. You'll have to go to the procedure for burning. And um, I guess we are going into the rain where it might be of probably lesser concern than during the dry season. Definitely burning would have been an issue. Oslin Crosby, GBN News.